it's proving to be one of the most controversial planning applications Cheshire has seen in a while, a proposal to build a so-called student village on Chester's Greenbelt. The application has already been rejected once, but since then the planning chairman has lost his job and campaigners want him back. Our political editor Arif Ansari reports. Campaigners outside Cheshire West HQ, where the big planning decisions are made and few are as controversial as this application by Bell Developments. This is where the student village will be built, but interestingly it's not supported by Chester University. And while there's been some building on green field sites, building on the green belt is extremely unusual. In January, the planning committee narrowly rejected the application, but only after the Tory chairman, Miles Hogg, voted with Labour to stop it. On the 16th of May, council leader Mike Jones removed Mr Hogg from the planning committee. The following day, the application was resubmitted substantially unchanged. Mr Hogg says he was given no warning of the move. They've been uh, replaced by a, a councillor of only two years standing and someone who'd only served on the planning committee for one year. It was surprising. That replacement is councillor Howard Greenwood. In 2009, before he became a councillor, he talked to Bell Developments about developing some of his own land, though that never happened. I'm not aware of any, any links other than he asked him a question about a piece of land on his own, uh, which he owned himself down in the south of Cheshire. And as far as I'm aware, they weren't interested and that went nowhere. So to ask a question, I don't regard that as a, a link in any substantial way at all. But local people are petitioning for the return of the former planning chairman, and say they lack confidence in the existing committee. Well, Arif joins me now in the studio, and you've been speaking to the new planning chairman, uh, Howard Greenwood, that we saw in your report. What does he have to say? It's very clear that when he had these dealings with Bell Developments before he was a councillor, these were discussions and they never actually led to any business. They were back in 2009, 2010. And when this planning application first came to the council, he went to the council lawyer, explained this, and he was told it's fine, it's not a conflict of interest. Nevertheless, politics is also about perception. And this is a big decision to be made by an important committee. When, and so th this is a serious issue for Cheshire West and Chester Council when that decision returns August, September. All right, Aris, thanks very much.